Hello from North Dakota. Look at this beautiful winter weather. Okay, a little snow for Christmas. I just hit the road for a couple days to remember how to drive the truck in a while. Okay, as I promised, we're doing oh, 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 sorry, we're doing section B video today. Okay. Let's go then. First of all, I'm gonna open my door and check my door hinges to make sure there is no damages, they securely mounted and weather seal is intact. Now I'm going to check my mirrors and mirrors brackets to make sure they're securely mounted, there is no damages and there is no loose fittings. I'm going to check the steps leading to the cap entry to make sure they solid there is no foreign objects and they securely bolt it to the tractor free now i'm going to check my fuel tanks to make sure they securely mounted not leaking there is no leaks from the lines or, or tanks and caps are tight i'm going to check my dead tank to make sure it's not leaking cap is tight and it has at least one eighth of the tank I'm going to check my uh, back of the cap to make sure there is no cracks, no bulges, no holes. I'm going to check my utility light and reflective equipment if you have any. You need to check it as well. To make sure it's white color, um, it's uh, clean and functional, none are broken or missing and of proper color which is white. I'm going to check my two reflecting tapes white color 12 inch long both vertical and horizontal l shape are in good condition i'm going to check my exhaust to make sure there is no damages no signs of damages such as carbon soot or rust i'm going to check my dry shaft to make sure that couplings are not broken in good condition there is no foreign object it's not cracked bent or broken i'm going to check the tractor frame both longitudinal and cross members to make sure there is no broken welds it's not cracked bent or broken i'm going to check my leaf springs this is my leaf spring i'm gonna make sure there is no cracked broken or missing leaf springs i'm going to check my shock absorber to make sure it's not damaged not cracked bent or broken not leaking i'm going to check my air suspension let me show you from better perspective my air suspension to make sure it's not damaged it's not leaking and it's securely mounted i'm going to check my mounts at each point when it's connected to tractor frame or axle to make sure there is no loose or missing leaf spring hinges, nuts bolts u-bolts or bushings now i'm going to make sure there is no cracked leaked or broken brake hoses lines or couplings i'm going to check my brake chamber to make sure it's securely mounted and it's not leaking and it's not loose or missing clamps i'm going to check my slack adjuster and push rod to make sure that it's uh, uh, there is no loose or missing parts it's not cracked bent or broken and the push rod has a play of not more than one inch when pulled by hand with brake released I'm going to check my drum brakes to make sure that there is no holes, no cracks and um, there is no loose or missing bolts and linings are not worn dangerously thin. Now I'm checking my rim to make sure there is no illegal welds, there is no rusty trails around which would indicate that rim is loose on the wheel. I'm going to check my lug nuts to make sure there is no shiny threads or rusty trails. And there is no damages such a distortion to the bolt holes i'm going to check my axle seal to make sure that the seal is in place it's not leaking if i if i have a side glass i will make sure that uh, oil level is adequate above the refill mark i'm going to check my valve and caps to make sure they're not leaking no crack bend or broken and i will check the tire inflation as well now i'm checking my tire condition i'm gonna make sure the thread depths is at least 230 seconds in the front on the steer tire and uh, 430 seconds of the steer 230 seconds elsewhere 
I'm gonna make sure that the thread is evenly worn and there is no damages to the thread such as thread separation or cuts to the sidewall. I'm gonna check the butt spacing to make sure that it's even, there is no foreign objects and tires are not coming in touch. I'm gonna check my splash guard and mud flap to make sure they securely mounted, not damaged, not teared and mud flap has legal links. I'm going to check the back of the truck. Um, this is my tail lights, which also function as four-way flashers, turn signals and brake signals. Make sure they clean and functional, none are broken or missing and the proper color, they're red. I'm going to check my reverse light to make sure it's clean and functional, none are broken or missing and it's a proper color, which is white. Well, guys, that concludes my section B. Good luck then, have fun. See you in a couple days. Get a beautiful North Dakota. Yahoo!